I make the very best meatloaf. And so as a celebration of reaching the 10,000 mark, I'm going to make us some meatloaf. You know, it warms my heart to think that every time you've hit the like button or you've commented, that more people would see the dastardly deeds of these bad apples. You did it, folks. You literally grew this little channel. And uh, I can't thank you enough. I just, I really hope you're impressed with my cooking. Because <laughs> I'm cooking just for you with all my heart. I hope you can smell it. It smells so good. It's in there cooking right now. It's amazing. So once again, thank you for being subscribers here at home on the range. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to keep making these videos for you. I think the thing that I love the most about the channel is the comments. You guys are so funny and you really don't let up on these guys and that's what I love the most. And so, but thanks again, really 10,000 subscribers from 500 subscribers in just six months. That's amazing. And that's all because of you folks deciding to hit the like button and choosing to share the video and comment. That has really grown the channel. So it's your channel. I'm here for you guys. I'm going to keep doing the Bad Apple Report. I'm going to keep bringing you these interactions that I find that are hilarious or that are egregious, whichever way the wind blows. But I'm mostly happy how even though we're all very different, this one thing has brought us together and we need to seize the moment and think about what that means. You know, Americans are rising up against tyranny, completely sick of it. And it's fantastic. We don't have to fight right versus left, black, white, whatever. That's crazy. The true enemy of the people is anyone that wants to rule over the people. That's the enemy of the people. Because we, the people, we're free. All right? Freedom is what has brought us all together. But it's really exciting to have reached the 10,000 mark with you guys. And so I'm going to make this wonderful meal for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's really the best. Again, to make the greatest meatloaf ever, the secret is in the sauce. Let's go over the ingredients for the meatloaf itself again. Pound and a half of hamburger meat, a couple of sweet onions, an egg from your own chicken, some croutons crushed up, some meatloaf seasoning, salt, pepper, and then a splash of milk. And then you guys, this is unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, then you got to put it in a pan like this. All right. All right. We made it to 10,000 subscribers. How did we get here? From 500 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in six months. How did we get here, folks? When we're all so very different. We like different foods. We're fat, skinny, black, white. We're all kinds of different people, but we all agree on the same thing. We don't like tyranny. None of us like tyranny. But you know what? We found something. We found a common ground to agree on. That common ground is liberty, freedom. So what we're doing is we're going against what the mainstream wants. And the mainstream wants us all divided. The news groomers want us mad at each other. But you know what? We have to see 
where the tyranny is coming from. And now these order followers, who are they working for anyways? Who's giving them all this access? All the technology. What we know for sure is that technology is moving fast. These guys have every tool in the book to use against us, and that's all they do. That's what they do. They're not out there to fight crime. They're not trying to secure the border. Now, they're making a huge paycheck. And when they retire, they make a huge paycheck that we're paying for. All the while, they made a career out of ruining people's lives, lying on police reports. Well, here we are in 2024, and there's YouTube channels everywhere. And these coward cops, they can't hide. think there's a war on cops. That's funny. Nope. America is just, it's a war on tyranny. If you're an un-American prick, well, all eyes are on you. The lens is on you, buddy. Now, some people might be like, well, man, why don't you do a at least, you know, one good cop every once in a while. And I will admit, I tried to. Whenever there was the cop that jumped into the water to save the little kid, you saw it a couple of weeks ago. I tried to do a story on that. And YouTube shut that down right away. Ooh, not ad friendly. It's like, man... That's one thing that we should all be concerned about is the news groomers. And that starts with the folks at YouTube. They really want to they want to groom every word that's said. You know, doesn't it, isn't it goofy that your favorite YouTubers, the people you guys watch, they all talk in code. They can't say certain things and they can't spell the word, you know, a word I can't say. That would be bad. All right, so when you make a celebratory meatloaf for your 10,000 subscriber celebration party, again, you want to use sweet onions and usually, um, well, this time of year, these are store-bought. This, this egg is not store-bought. This came from my bird. Her name is Birdle. And, uh, She's a good bird. Okay. Now, folks, to make the very best meatloaf in the world, of course, all these normal ingredients like sweet onions, and you need, you know, a pound and a half or whatever of some good hamburger meat. Okay, egg from Bertel. Just good old meat loaf seasoning. You want some crushed up croutons? I like seasoned croutons. Not too many, but not too few at the same time. Okay. I'm going to throw down some salt. Go for it with a little bit of pepper. Just a dash of milk. Okay. 
then it's meatloaf making time. So once again, folks, see, we don't all have the same tastes. We're all very different people. I'm sure we listen to different kinds of music. You know, I'm a hillbilly living on the hill overlooking the river. This is my, my type of lifestyle. I've been a farmer and among other things right out here on the hill for the past 13 years. I love it. My dogs love it. I've had dogs and many animals come and go. They've had their whole lives out here. But it's really exciting to have reached the 10,000 mark with you guys. And so I'm going to make this wonderful meal for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's really the best. Again, to make the greatest meatloaf ever, the secret is in the sauce. I know you've heard that before, but whoa. But before we get to the sauce, let's just re let's go over the ingredients for the meatloaf itself again. Pound and a half of hamburger meat, a couple of sweet onions, an egg from your own chicken, some croutons crushed up, some meatloaf seasoning, salt, pepper, and then a splash of milk. And then you guys, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, then you gotta put it in a pan like this. All right. All right. Now that is a meatloaf. Okay, folks, this is the very best part about the meatloaf. And you smell this cooking, it's going to be wonderful. Again, I want to thank you guys all for subscribing to the channel and being part of the Bad Apple Report every day. It's absolutely wonderful to bring the Bad Apple Report to you guys. Look folks, we've got a lot of brown sugar there. You want quite a bit of brown sugar. You have to use good ketchup. You can't use cheap ketchup. And you have to use a lot of it. You can use cheap mustard. You don't have to use too much of it. Use the same knife to give her a stir. All right, so that was a little bit of something different, right? The 10,000 the, the 10, subscriber special where your host makes you a wonderful meatloaf and a mashed potato dinner. You guys, this is gonna smell so good cooking. And I'm gonna be thinking about you guys while this is cooking. And I'm gonna make you some more videos for tomorrow. And uh, you'll have a nice, a nice helping of the Bad Apple Report and a wonderful meatloaf to go along with it. All right, folks, this is just unbelievable. Now, I, I hope you can still see pretty well, but we've got ourselves a wonderful meatloaf here, you guys. And now we're going to put the... Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, is it too much sauce? No. It's never, never too much when it comes to this. You guys, this cooks all the way down through the meatloaf so that brown sugar taste. It's like candied meatloaf every bite all the way throughout this thing. This is a glorious, glorious meal waiting to happen. And that's it. All right. Okay, folks. This is our celebratory 10,000 subscriber meal. I have made this just for you. Mashed potatoes. It's a bunch of golden potatoes, half a stick of butter, and a splash of milk. Oh, but this meatloaf. You cannot imagine how good this is going to be. Look at that end piece, you guys. 
Thank you again from Home on the Range. We'll see you for another meal at 15,000.